heavy. Board. Page 19 we have with the control burn, the um, the poem I mentioned in the monologue, where it kind of struck me as almost that like return to nature meme, right? Like the return meme that people make online. And as I said before, you know, maybe my problem with that is that I don't believe it. I kind of can't believe that that we can go back, um, including the last line of this poem, where it just ends before, period. So let me read it real quick. What the Indians here used to do was to burn out the brush every year in the woods, up the gorges, keeping the oak and the pine stands tall and clear with grasses and kit kit dizzy under them. Never enough fuel there. Not a fire could crown. Now, Manzanita, a fine bush in its right, crowds up under the new trees, mixed up with logging slash, and a fire can wipe all and a fire can wipe out all. Fire is an old story. I would like, with a sense of help or with a sense of helpful order, with respect for laws of nature, to help my land with a burn. A hot clean burn. Manzanita seeds will only open after a fire passes over or once passed through a bear. And then it would be more like when it belonged to the Indians before. And this is that kind of hippie shit that I was talking about where it's like, I, I, my problem is I don't believe it, right? Like I, I, not that I don't believe that the Native Americans were doing controlled burns for their lands, uh, but that we can return, that it can be more like before if we just prop, we copy this kind of ancient cultural practice. Um, it's hippie shit, right? I could never actually believe that. Uh, maybe some of you could, but, you know, that's my issue with it. And then there's this, this is another good example to bring up with the inconsistency in terms of the sentence structure. So in the first sentence, in the first stanza here, there's a period. The next sentence begins with a lowercase, um, no capitalization, even though the first sentence in the poem started with a capitalization. And then we have inconsistencies throughout. So then the, that second sentence starts with an, um, lowercase letter, and then the third sentence starts with a capitalized letter, uh, then another capitalized letter, then another capitalized letter, and then no caps on another sentence. And, you know, it just, it doesn't quite make sense to me. I don't understand what this is. There's no pattern to it. There's no rhyme or reason from what I can tell, which is why I called this in the monologue a little bit of what I would call laziness, a kind of a lack of attention to detail or I don't want to go this far, but it could be, you know, kind of a lack of understanding in certain regards. Um, in the 20th century, there were a lot of people that just thought they could do poetry because, you know, any type of philosophical musings smashed onto a page in these little boxes could be called a poem. And, you know, I don't think that I don't believe that here on Heavy Board. But, you know, you all let me know what you think. And at the end of this first section, I was really I was bored. And I was really trying to... Inner. Resources. American resources. Being bored? Some activities are not intentional, right? It shows such a lack Heavy. of gratitude for life. Bored. I, I aspire to bored, Heavy. I should say. Bored. Do you the night sweats and the day sweats, pal? Pal, I do.